What is up guys? This is Red Hood 420. I'm here to bring you some breaking news. And yes, it seems to be true. A variety broke a story that Robert Pattinson is to play the Batman for Matt Reeves and Warner Brothers. Let's get into this uh, article piece right here and I'll give you my thoughts on the casting choice. So let's go. He's going from sex symbol to bat symbol. Sources tell Variety that Robert Pattinson is in negotiations to play the Batman and Matt Reeves' forthcoming superhero film, which hits theaters June 25th, 2021. While sources say it's not yet a done deal, Pattinson is the top choice and is expected to close shortly. Warner Brothers had no comment. Pre-production on the Warner Brothers DC Comics pick is expected to start this summer. Reeves, the filmmaker behind the last two Planet of the Apes sequels, assumed Batman directing duties from Ben Affleck in January 2017 and has been developing the elusive project ever since. Affleck and Warner Brothers began discussing the actor-director leaving the Cape Crusader behind following Justice League, allowing Reeves to pick his own Bruce Wayne. Reeves will produce the Batman with his Planet, Ape, Planet of the Apes collaborator Dylan Clark, Pattinson was cast as Reeves continues to polish a final version of the script, a former Twilight heartthrob uh, who has successfully turned to art house fair. Pattinson, 32, becomes the youngest actor to ever play Batman on the big screen. Warner Brothers, in giving Reeves plenty of time to develop the script, is hoping the latest iteration of the DC icon is done right following the disappointments of Batman v Superman and Justice League. No official start date has been set for the Batman. Insiders tell Variety filming could start in late 2019 or early 2020. Pattinson is about to shoot another film for WB, Christopher Nolan's event movie co-starring John David Washington, which is set to open July 17th, 2020. Pattinson has a total of four films opening this year, beginning with Claire uh, Dennis's High Life. He also appears in Robert Eggers' The Lighthouse, which bows at the Keynes Film Festival, The King for Netflix, and Waiting for the Barbarians. He's ripped by WME, the Curtis Brown Group, and Three Arts Entertainment. Three Arts Entertainment is essentially like the like indie films and stuff like that. But uh, to really talk about it, yeah, uh, Matt Reeves, I have a lot of trust in Matt Reeves. I know people are divided on this um, casting. He's not final, but it's very much more, more likely that he'll be playing as Batman. And I do believe Matt Reeves has a trilogy of Batman movies and from his previous work, such as like Cloverfield and the Planet of the Apes films, the, the um, Dawn, was it, yeah, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and War for the Planet of the Apes, really fantastic film. So I think the script will be amazing by Matt Reeves. And I think he sees something in Matt Reeves that, that a lot of people don't. I guess my only complaint for Robert Pattinson is that he needs to bulk up. Uh, everyone said the same thing about Ben Affleck. Like he needs to bulk up and he needs to work out and get buff. And a lot of people complained about you know Heath Ledger's uh, Joker uh, when he was you know casted. But we need to find the um, end result product and judge it for itself. But I think Robert Pattinson, when going to the indie scene, he is a really um, talented actor. And I think that they see something like really great in him as his uh, as the portrayal of Batman. And I think he'll do a fantastic job. I, I could be completely wrong and he could do a terrible job. Um, but I think that WB and Matt Reeves are on the right track for this film. And he, yeah, supposedly he's the youngest um, Batman ever. And as well as um, people just are complaining because they've only seen... Robert Pattinson in just the Twilight movies and not his other works and that's what they're really judging him on and I feel like other people need to look at his other works on the indie side you know the indie side to you know, judge Robert Pattinson as an actor because I think he has the chops I think he just needs to bulk up which he will hopefully he will because he's in negotiations of course and I don't know if filming, I think filming will be early 2020 because Robert Pattinson needs to get like really jacked and like bulk up fast. So overall, I'm happy with the choice. Uh, personally, I didn't really have a stake on who will be Batman. I just wanted the right 
person to be Batman. And Matt Reeves is talented. He's a great writer. He's a great director. And I think Robert Pattinson is the right man for the job. He'll do this and do an accurate portrayal. That's what Matt Reeves is all about, is an accurate portrayal of Batman. And in his interviews, he seems to get the essence of the character. Unlike some people, such as Zack Snyder, you know. (laughs) But overall, guys, let me know what you think about Robert Pattinson potentially playing Batman in the Matt Reeves uh, trilogy of movies. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video. Hopefully we can get 10 likes and share this video with your friends and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content from my channel and hit the bell notification so you guys can get updated as when my videos go up. This is Red Hood 420. See you guys later.